Welcome, human. Click the subscribe button to join the T-Virus community. You have a girl, a genius girl named Vicaria. And the movie starts off with us hearing Vicaria narrating. And we see her as a, a little girl, like maybe five or six or so. And she's sitting on her mother's lap. Her mother is sitting on a bench outside. And she has her head on her mother's chest to where she can hear her heartbeat. And that's when she hears her mother's last heartbeat because Vicaria's mother is struck in the head by a bullet. That is some fucked up shit. At that moment, Vicaria experienced death. She had a taste of it. She didn't like it. You fast forward some years later, Vicaria is older and her brother Chris is gunned down because he is in the gang life. Vicaria, she decides at that moment, enough is enough. Death is a disease, which means that it has a cure. She is able to take her brother's body from the scene before human authority figures arrive. Because in certain black neighborhoods, the cops will either take a long time to get there, or when they show up, a bunch of bullshit goes down, whether it be that they kill some black people, they throw some black people in prison, all sorts of negative outcomes. But that's not to say that all cops are corrupt. No, of course not. There are plenty of good cops, but there's way too many bad ones. Vicaria decides to experiment on her brother, learning everything that she can about human anatomy and what happens when someone dies, the whole nine, she's a genius. I was like, wow, this Vicaria, this black girl is, is, wow. It's just, it's almost like you're at a loss for words when you see how intelligent this girl is. I don't think I've ever met anyone as smart as Vicaria. Like, this shit is amazing. And her ability to learn and pick things up is so rapid, so quick. She succeeds in bringing her brother Chris back to life. But you need to understand that her father is still around and he does he does multiple jobs just to provide for his family. Uh, he's a mechanic during the day and he does security at night. So hardworking man in the face of tragedy. The fact that he lost his wife, the fact that he lost his son, both to bullets it is sad as fuck um if you really care about someone especially if it's a family member when you lose them it's a horrible thing i myself uh i don't really have that sort of attachment to any human to where i would feel that way but i understand it because i've seen it many times vicaria did succeed in bringing her brother Chris back to life. But it didn't turn out the way she expected because who she brought back was not really Chris. It turned out to be some sort of monster, some sort of abomination. But the way that the movie presents it is, it seems to be that maybe things would have been different if when Chris was brought back to life, if he was treated differently. Or the idea of maybe no matter what, he would have just been a monster. The movie makes you think about life and death and accepting things that happen and how you must accept it so that way you can heal and move on so you don't find yourself in a worse position. Interesting stuff. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot smelly as day and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing i'm gonna give this movie an 8.5 out of 10 my favorite character in this movie is vicaria the girl i have on screen here you don't really get to see much of her mother and her brother but you know from the girl's perspective that she loved her mom that she loved her brother and that she wasn't trying to do anything bad or anything wrong she just Humans tell me all the time that there are so many different ways of coping with death that humans go through. And Vicaria, maybe this was her way of coping, but 
you can make an argument that she went too far, but the intentions behind it were good, but that doesn't mean that the outcome was good. And uh, this really makes you think the movie was very suspenseful at times. It had a, a horrific feel to it, especially when uh, Vicaria succeeded in bringing Chris back to life or at least what kind of looked like Chris, but just different. Let me know in the comment section, how did you feel about this movie? Have you ever heard of it? Does this movie intrigue you now that I have brought this to your attention? Because with this kind of movie, I feel that more humans should watch it and more humans, they should talk about it instead of the typical stuff like Super Mario Brothers and Avatar. And don't get me wrong, those are great films, but I think something like this deserves way more attention. And you'll find that a lot of times the movies that humans are not hyping up and talking about are some of the best movies out there. The same thing with, with TV shows, you know. Um, you can't control hype and you can't control what humans watch, but I think this is one film that deserves more eyes on it because it has a, a powerful message behind it and it's entertaining and engaging and suspenseful and horrific, but compelling. And you just want things to work out, but you understand that it's just not going to be that way. Terrence out.